You might only steal 30 or $40 or $80 right now, but if you keep it up and keep doing it, uh, you are going to get hit with a felony and have a much different outcome in court. Yeah, it's a crime that has plagued almost every corner of our state. We're talking about shoplifting and, you know, everything's locked up these days. But in just a couple months, getting arrested for shoplifting is going to be much more than just a slap on the wrist. Yeah, changes are coming for people caught stealing come July. Thieves can now get hit with a felony if they're caught stealing multiple times in a 90 day period. But the Albuquerque Police Department is already getting a head start in trying to catch these criminals. Uh, they talked about their recent retail crime effort today and police APD isn't missing around now that there's a little bit more teeth to the law for offenders here. Yeah, Ryan Tessa, just this past week, ABD arrested 31 people during a retail crime operation. Of those, 29 had active warrants. And APD leaders say this is just the start of their work to address the issue. Unfortunately for Lori, what she didn't know, um, her day was going to get worse because uh, several of our detectives were outside. Lori Maldonado was just one of 31 people caught stealing by APD last week. He was utilizing the city bus to transport himself back and forth. APD detectives spent days outside different shops near Coronado and Cottonwood Mall. We're not delusional that we can always arrest and charge 100% of the offenders, but just like the other operations that Chief does, and during certain time periods, we want a zero tolerance. Those zero tolerance zones resulted in 31 people getting arrested for shoplifting and nearly $7,000 in merchandise were covered. One of the things we found is out of the 31 or so offenders, 29 of them did not drive a car to the store to commit the theft. The operation revealing a trend about how these people get to stores. A big handful of them were using the city bus or walking up from places we couldn't clearly see. Chief Harold Medina says this is just the beginning of these operations, but there needs to be a bigger conversation on who is committing these crimes. We need to bring available resources to drug addicts. We need to bring available resources to people with mental health illness. And we need to bring resources to the homeless. APD had around 15 officers dedicated to this retail operation. They will continue doing these operations in different parts of the city that see a lot of retail crime. 